Welcome. In front of me is a POCO M3, and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this device. So, when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with this screen right over here, and simply you want to tap on the arrow right over here, and then scroll down till you see your language. Now, for me, it's going to be English, so whatever, I'm going to choose whichever one, and let's go to the next one, and then select your region. So, choose your region. Now, this, I believe, determines the time zone, so I'm going to collect go to next because it was selected correctly and on the next page we have terms and conditions nothing welcomes me better than terms and conditions which i do have to agree to and then let's tap on next to actually proceed further with the setup and in here you will have the insert sim card now this step is completely optional you can insert it if you want to, you can completely skip it if you uh, want to disregard it, which that's what I'm gonna do. The moment you insert a SIM card, it will work just fine, you don't need a special screen for it. Now we have connect to network, again this step is optional as you can see right over here, so you can connect to some kind of Wi-Fi if you have one. If you don't have one, then you don't need to bother at all, you just skip it, and you can later on connect to Wi-Fi whenever you have it, well, whenever you have an accessible one. Um, and the only thing that you will lose out throughout the setup is the ability to log into Google and then backup, or, well not backup, but restore your device from an old backup. Which still, you can do it after the setup is complete, but it won't be provided in a neat sequence as it is here. So, otherwise, after this, you just have to go through settings and basically go to accounts, to add the account, and then to another section to restore it. So, from here, let's go to, uh, actually, I'm going to touch up on this stuff here. So we have use location scanning and user and diagnostic data. So these settings right here, um, things like location, will use GPS tracking. So uh, apps like Google Maps will work correctly. If you don't want it, you can disable it. Later on, you can enable it through the notification panel. You have also scanning. So it allows the phone to scan for things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. And then below that, we have send user and diagnostic data. Uh, so basically gathers data on how you use the device and sends it to Google. If you don't want it, disable it, then let's stop on more and accept. And from here, we can now set up a passcode. So we have fingerprint or screen lock. Uh, if you choose to set up a fingerprint, you will be required to set up a screen lock. Uh, but if you choose to only set up a screen lock, you are not required to actually set up a uh, fingerprint. And also you have the ability to skip it by tapping right over here. And then we have um, some more location, experience programs, uh, send diagnostic data automatically, uh, automatic system updates, and personalized ads. Now, most of this, I would say, is completely up to you. Some of those things we have already uh, chosen settings for, but obviously we have to do it again for some unknown reason. Um, so you can disable them again. And honestly, the the thing that I would most certainly disable myself is the personalized ads. Uh, and it's also the only the only check right here that basically brings up this window uh, asking, are you sure you don't want us to spy on you and gather data on what you're searching for so we can give you ads based on your interests? Yes, I am completely and utterly sure that I don't want that. So once you disable that, you can then go further on where you get to choose the theme. And honestly, there is not much of a difference between them. You do have the classic, uh, which has circular icons, and then you have limitless, which has all kinds of different shapes of icons, as you can see. And apart from that, you have also a different wallpaper. But obviously, wallpaper can be changed, and icons can be changed as well. So uh, this is just kind of like a, if you don't feel like changing it uh, after the setup, just check whichever one you want right now, which one suits you better, which I'm gonna go with limitless. Let's go to next and basically finish up the setup. As you can see, team applied, and below that there is the arrow, so let's tap on it. And this will allow us to actually finish up the setup. And there we go. So that is how you would go through the setup of this device. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.